arise from them. Yeah, okay, that's, that's a point. I forgot to mention that. So these two states, there are no uh, eta arrows from them, so there will be no uh, extra states added due to the eta's, because these two don't have eta arrows on them, only this one. Okay, uh, now what about B? So what does is, what is this D state go to when uh, B comes in? When B comes in, well, 1 just goes to 2, right, so you've got 2 in there. Uh, immediately, uh, eta, due to the eta, you've got a state 3. Uh, see, so 1 goes to 2, okay, and 3 reads a beta, so it dies. So it dies. Okay. And then the 2 on a B, the 2. Hmm? Oh, yeah, here. Yeah, so the 2 can transition to 3 because of the beta here. Okay, so the 2 goes to 3. So that's where this one comes from. But the 3 that's. The 3 that's due. You know, the 1 here immediately goes to 3. Okay. And then you read the. <laughs> Which comes first? Do you do the do you read first or you do the eta first? Oh, interesting. So starting to get the hang of this, right? By, by actual practice, it's not stated explicitly in the well, I think in the text. All right. So assume that uh, we do the eta first and then read. Right. Okay. So uh, the one so eta to three, then three reads b. There's no exit. There's no exit transition, no exit arrow, no transition arrow with B label, so that would die. But we got a 3 due to the 2, yeah, because of the B. The 2 will transit to 3 because of this B. Okay, so 1, 2 goes to 2, 3 on B. Alright, uh, now um, continue you know, doing for all the states, and you get this complicated. Uh, D, a big D, that's the DFA equivalent to this to this NFA. Right? Trust me. <laughs> so here you know, here are your eight states and with their transitions and labels, blah blah, and you can see it's uh, quite a mess. That's that's typical of uh, DFA equivalents of NFAs. Right? They have many more states, like uh, this thing has three states. And uh, so the power set of a set with three elements will have two to the power three. That's eight. So, uh, so this D of A will have eight, uh, eight uh, states, and there they are. Okay. Okay. Now we can actually simplify. Well, you know, go to the next. We have a next square. <laughs> Uh, uh, maybe not. Sort of need both. We can actually simplify this diagram because uh, some of these uh, states here are redundant, uh, are not used. They're not used in the sense they have no uh, transitions to them. Now, if now if a state has no transition to it, it can never be used. Can never. It doesn't play any role. I mean, think about it. If 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 there's no transition to it, then it gets used. Okay. Now have a look. This one here, there's no there's no arrow pointing to it. So we can kill this one, and, and hence and hence this 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 that will disappear. Now are there any others that have no arrows to them, no transitions to them? Uh, this one, I think, also correct. Yeah. So we can kill this one and this one. Uh, yeah, so 1 and 1, 2. So this one and this one we can kill. And hence, uh, the, you know, if it never gets used, you know, if, if, nothing, if it never gets used, it can't, uh, it, it can't be used to transition to another one. So this, this may as well not be there. And, and similarly for this also. Okay, so um, eliminate those two and you get a simplified diagram. That's this, right? So this this now is your DFA, your big D, 
after removing your redundant states, redundant in the sense you don't need them, they're useless, uh, you, can't, um, you can't get to them because there's no transition arrow to them, right? So you, 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 you get this. So you can sort of filter out the garbage, so to speak, and then you get a relatively simpler uh, DFA equivalent, big D. Okay. So uh, we have now finished the discussion of, I think, um, unless if there's some surprises, I think we've just finished the discussion of uh, the introduction to uh, non-determinism and uh, NFAs. So now uh, we can go back to where we got stuck before. Uh, remember we were in the process of trying to prove that uh, the set or the class my set doesn't use the same term all the time to be consistent. Anyway, the class of regular languages are closed under the regular operation of concatenation. We got stuck in that number. Well, now, now that we understand uh, non-determinism and NFAs, we can use that knowledge now to return to that proof and continue on. Now, as I was saying in uh, the first session of this board, uh, before we do that, we'll, uh, we'll go back to our proof that we actually did for uh, showing that uh, the regular languages are closed under union. And we did have a successful proof for that before. Uh, using uh, the Cartesian product, I think, in, in the equivalent. We, yeah, we use the, the states, the states of the equivalent DFA were in fact ordered pairs. So your your Q your Q dashed in your equivalent DFA. Uh, would be a Cartesian product. Anyway, so yeah, we've actually got proof for the closure of uh, under operation, uh, regular operation union. So uh, we'll go back to that, but this time we'll use techniques involving non-determinism. We'll use an NFA, and you'll see how much simpler it is. Okay, and because also because of the power of uh, NFA of non-determinism. We will now be able to complete the proof that uh, regular languages are closed under the regular operation of concatenation. And then we'll go on again using uh, NFAs, you know, using non-determinism. We will show that the regular languages are closed also under star, you know, the regular operation star. Okay. So. Uh, that's, so we're just 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 starting on 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 that, right? Um, yeah. So uh, let's see. So the the proof that, that um, the regular language was closed under union that was on page forty five of your text. So uh, we'll go back we'll go back to proving um, that union. Is you know regular languages are closed under the operation regular operation of union, uh, but this time we'll use uh, NFAs. We'll use non-determinism, and you'll see uh, how much simpler the proof is. So, stay there.